I'm Brandy Bame, and I am the Domestic Violence and Elder Abuse Program Manager at DVAC. And June is Elder Abuse Awareness Month, whereas according to the National Council on Aging, one in 10 seniors in America experiences mistreatment or abuse, including domestic and sexual violence, financial exploitation and neglect. And whereas abusers of older adults are both women and men and are usually family members, caregivers, healthcare workers, or other trusted individuals, and due to shame, fear, and other barriers elders face in reporting abuse, only a limited number of victims are able to get the help they need. And whereas elders throughout the United States lose an estimated 2.9 billion or more annually due to elder financial abuse, and 28.3 billion annually due to financial exploitation, such as the illegal taking, misuse, or concealment of funds, property, or assets of a senior for another benefit. And whereas too often elder abuse threatens the livelihoods of older individuals, erodes their extraordinary potential, and increases their risk by death by 300% compared to seniors who have not been mistreated. And whereas vulnerable and older adults of all social, so, social, economic, racial, and ethnic backgrounds may be targets of abuse, neglect, or exploitation, which can occur in families, long-term care communities, and medical settings. And whereas we all have a responsibility to support the safety, welfare, and dignity of vulnerable and older adults and must work towards ending elder abuse by assisting victims in accessing the information and supportive services they need, creating better and more resources for older adults in need, instituting effective intervention and prevention policies, and engaging in discussion with family members and peers to promote awareness and prevention of the quiet epidemic of elder abuse. Now therefore, DVAC hereby proclaims June 2024 as Elder Abuse Awareness Month and urges all citizens to work together to help protect elder adults from abuse, neglect, and exploitation because it is imperative that we refuse to tolerate the indignity of elder abuse.